Hello everyone. So here I built two tiny Comfy UI workflows for Flux with USO and that let you do two things. Turn any style image into your result and keep the same face while you change styles. I'll share a free workflow. You can download it from aistudynow.com. So here I made two workflows. In one, you add both a subject image and a style reference image. In the other one, you only add a style reference image. First, let's check the style reference workflow. And to run this workflow, you need four files. First, the Flux FP8 checkpoint. Download it and put it in your checkpoint folder. Second, the LoRa file. Save it in your LoRa's folder. Third, the model patch. Put it in your ConfUI's models model patch folder. And the last one is ClipVision file. And again, save it in your ConfUI's models ClipVision folder. The Flux checkpoint here already includes Clip and VA. So you don't need a separate text encoder or VA files. Select the Flux 1 Dave Lura V1 model. Now let's talk about the workflow. Upload any style reference image. In the same run, it will use that style to generate your result. For the first test, I have uploaded a manga line art style as my reference. The style has clean ink lines and cross hatching. Here, I want a woman walking in a street, but in this style. From Resolution Master, I pick a flux preset, choose 1024 by 1024 and click generate. It takes around three seconds and the output looks great. The image matches the reference style, clean lines and cross hatching, just like the style image. So let's try our next test. I use a needle felt wool style image as the reference. This style has a soft fuzzy texture. I keep the same prompt and change the resolution to 896 by 896 by 1184 and I click generate. If I talk about result, in about 3 seconds, I get the same wool texture and soft look. Even the background follows my style image. The doll hair and the women both pick up that woolen texture and the background matches too. So let's try one more quick test. I have uploaded a flappy app icon style sheet with bright colors. And I have kept the same prompt women walking in the street so when i generate i get the flappy icon look it uses the same colors from the reference like green and pink and it matches that icon style very well there is another group where you can add another reference image but i'll show that in second workflow now let's talk about the second workflow this one has a subject section, which we didn't use before. Here, you upload your subject image, so the face stays consistent across results. I have uploaded a woman's photo. This is my subject, alpha girl. First, I'll show the result without any style reference. So if you want the output to match the subject image size, for example, 1024 by 1024, connect load image to resolution master and you will get the same size. If you want a custom size, disconnect it and pick any resolution you like. Like I have set it to 1184 by 896 and bypass the style reference and use a prompt like same face as reference short hair, cozy coffee shop, 
warm window light, soft background, and heat generate. So here is a quick note to notice. So here is a quick note on flux guidance. If your prompt is short, set guidance around 4 to 4.5. And if your prompt is long, lower it to around 3 to 3.5. And stay in that range only. With my prompt, the result looks great. The same face as my subject, warm window light, soft background and a coffee shop feeling. So here you can you also use a cartoon subject and I have uploaded a 2D character as a subject and prompt. Same face as reference playing in the cartoon. The model keeps the same face and even keeps small details like a logo on the t-shirt from the subject image. And one more point, unwanted parts are cleaned up and the result looks neat. Now, I'll show how the style reference works with the subject. I switch back to the same woman and change the style to Ghibli by uploading a Ghibli style reference. Now, as you can see, the output is in Ghibli style and the face is still the same, 100% consistent. It doesn't read as a coffee shop yet. So I give the image more room by increasing the resolution to 1344 by 768 and add to the prompt holding a mug with both hands, cozy cafe, warm light. And as the result, now she has a coffee cup, the scene reads as a cafe and the face stays consistent in the new style. So let's take one another test. So I have connected load image to resolution master to match my subject size about 785 by 755. Here I have uploaded the starry night style image and didn't give any prompt. I just want to convert the photo into that painting style and as a result, the result turns my subject into a starry night like oil painting. So I changed the resolution to 832 by 1248 and try a prompt like same face by the window with a mug, city lights outside composed. And here we have got the result. The face is still the same as my subject. The style stays like oil on canvas. There is a mug and the city lights are visible outside the window. So again, it has followed the prompt well. Next, I have uploaded a line art manga style reference. I set 785 by 788 in Resolution Master. Type a tiny prompt like line art and run it. And now we have got the result. The subject becomes clean manga line art. For the second sampler, I have uploaded a 3D character reference and added line art in 3D to the prompt. The model tries to pop the lines with a 3D feel and you can see the 3D shading effect. On the next generation, it's even clearer. The line art pushes toward a 3D look. Finally, I try combining a wool texture with a 3D style. I have uploaded a soft wool texture toy as its style and a 3D character as another reference. And in the prompt, I have given as same face, wool texture with 3D style and hit generate. And as a result, the model blends both. The surface picks up the wool texture while keeping the 3D form. 
it looks more realistic and tactile. That's how you can use these two workflows. If this helps, grab the free workflow from aistudynow.com and try it on your images and subscribe for more like this. Thank you. Bye-bye.